The West Virginia football staff is hard at work. We've already seen it this past week with the Country Roads Trust and the players they've added. Well, now two huge additions to the football program could be coming in the coming week. Who am I talking about and who are they? Well, let's talk about that and these major possible additions right after this word from our sponsor. This episode of Mountaineer Paul Talks Football is brought to you by Dutch Miller Automotive. Where friends and family pricing means you get the best deal right up front on any new or pre-loved vehicle in stock every time. With brands like Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Kia, Hyundai, Ford, GMC, Buick, and Subaru, the Dutch Miller Automotive family is always growing and ready to put you in the car or truck they've been searching for. Check out our inventory across West Virginia at DutchMillerAuto.com or Come in today to the home of friends and family pricing only at a Dutch Miller Automotive store near you. This is for camera. Can oh. What is up, guys? My name is Mountaineer Paul. This is another edition of Mountaineer Paul Talks Football. It's that time of the year where we've got little to no football going on. And if you don't count the NFL and the college level, the Raekwon battle case just settled yesterday. We're all excited about different aspects of the West Virginia program and whether it be basketball or football. I got confirmation yesterday before the news dropped today that we were going to have two major visits from the Ohio State University on campus in the coming weekend. and. I was really happy to hear that. So, Skylar, but I wasn't allowed to say anything. And then, obviously, Callahan, uh, Skylar Callahan, who I'm going to talk about in the next article, dropped something today. Um, so, let's read that article and, and kind of figure that out. And then we're going to have some fun, guys. I figured out a way to add some video to this. And I'm going to go over some tape of these guys. And we're going to point out how they could be beneficial to the Mountaineers in the scheme that we run. So let's roll. Pair of Ohio State transfers set to visit WVU. West Virginia looks to add a couple of defensive pieces this weekend. This is from Skylar Callahan at Mountaineers Now. The West Virginia coaching staff will host a number of recruits this weekend, including a pair of Ohio State transfers, safety Cameron Martinez and linebacker Reed Carrico. Martinez was a highly touted recruit out of Muskegon High School in Michigan, rated as a four-star talent by multiple recruiting outlets. Coming out, he had offers from Arizona State, Boston College, Florida State, Georgia Tech, Iowa State, Kentucky, Louisville, Michigan, Notre Dame, Penn State, and several others. He played a significant amount of snaps as a redshirt freshman, totaling 21 tackles, four pass breakups and interception. Unfortunately, the injury bug has bit him a couple of times over the last two seasons which has limited his contributions to just 17 tackles in 16 games. Boston College, Cal, Cincinnati, Florida, Mississippi State, Texas, Tulane, Vanderbilt, Western Michigan is also, have also offered Martinez since entering the portal. As for Carrico, he was a big-time consistent four-star recruit that held offers from the likes of Alabama, Clemson, Florida, LSU, Michigan, Oklahoma, Ole Miss, Penn State, Tennessee, and many others. He got buried on the depth chart in early in his career at Ohio State and was then able to make much of an impact, pick up just five tackles in 19 games. Should he choose West Virginia, he'll have more of an opportunity to play and will be a veteran presence, which is a much needed, much needed in that room. I've been able to break the tape down on both these players. Both of them are power five players, guys. Don't let it disparage you that Carrico hasn't played at Ohio State. They just have had elite first, second round type guys in the linebacker room there. And unfortunately, it's hard to play it at a place like Ohio State, even if you're good. And, and I think Carrico is not their type of player, personally. He's more of a downhill, thumping linebacker, right? Um, he's not much side to side. He, he can move, don't get me wrong. He's not slow by any means, but he's not what Ohio State has in that room. They have like elite 4-4, four, 4-5 four, four, kind of guys. Uh, and, and really short burst of speed and, and explosiveness. Cam Martinez is a whole nother ball of wax. If he's healthy, he's really good. There's a reason he played as a true freshman at Ohio State, guys. And if we can land both of these guys, 
Um, I feel like this is going to be a huge boon to the defense, guys. These guys know what it takes to win. They saw what winning looks like every day in front of them. And they can all implement their own kind of styles. I happen to know Reed Carrico, um, and only from a distance of watching him, he, he played ball at a couple miles down the road in Ironton, which is a football powerhouse in Ohio, uh, just down the road from me. And I was able to watch a few of his games over the course of time. He's absolutely a good athlete, guys. I'm telling you, he'll be a good pickup for us. But let's go to the tape. You know my saying, watch the tape. Well, let's watch some tape on these guys. We're going to look at Cam Martinez, safety. These are Ohio State highlights. With Carrico, we're going to go Ironton highlights because he didn't play enough at Ohio State to show really what I think he's capable of. So we're going to be looking at the state championship game with Reed Carrico. With Martinez, these are Ohio State highlights. Let's roll. This is just a mistake, and you got to continue to come on for this ball. If you're Josh Johnson, man, you've got to make this play. Hit him dead in the hand, right on the shoulder pads, right into the basket. Hey, the Spencer, that ball was tipped by Martin shallower than the other. That's it off the edge. Ray keeps the play alive. Yep. Throws it right into the arms of Cameron Martinez, and here he comes with a convoy. Ohio State showing pressure, got game and a dealing going on. This is the mistake that the quarterback makes along with the third down and taking the sack. This is the second. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct fouls on each team. Defense, uh, number 17. Was in that moment. Oh, look at this. It's a fake. It should have been intercepted. Either way, they're going to get the football. Cameron Martinez had two hands on it. Is a limo, the up man, the tiny end is the one. So, Martinez is an extremely instinctual guys. And if you go back and watch his high school tape, he was the quarterback on their high school team. And he is an elite athlete, guys. He was an athlete coming out. So, he could have played receiver some places. He could have played quarterback some places. Uh, and you could put him in the wildcat. You could put him in the return game. Uh, he's good at all, pretty much everything. As long as he can stay healthy, guys, he would be a major, major impact player for us. Unfortunately, injuries are what's decreased his value. I can't say much about that. All I know is if he's healthy, guys, major impact player. So I think that's something important going forward to project with Martinez, guys. We want to get the word out about that kid. Let's check out Reed Carrico and why he was so highly recruited coming out of Ironton. So, as you can see, Reed can move side to side. He's really a downhill type player. And personally, I think he would be a good fit in our system, guys, in that probably in that Lee Cobra role uh, where he can man the middle of the defense, maybe make the calls. 
Uh, maybe he's a backup, backup player, but I personally think he's got starting potential. It just depends on what kind of role they have for him. Uh, he also played running back in high school and was really, really good at running back. And, and so he's another guy that maybe you could put in a wildcat type situations, which you want very, I, I wouldn't expect it, but he is a guy that you send the ball in his hands. Uh, he's got soft hands. He's a good receiver in high school. So I, I have no doubt that if he gets his hands on some balls in the passing situations, he probably picked that off. So overall, guys, I think these are two major impact type players that could really help out our defense, which needs help, right? So, and, and this is from Ohio State. These are power five transfers. You know, a lot of the fan base has griped and complained about these guys we've been getting from lower level schools and things like that. And while that may be true, you can still identify talent no matter where it is, right? So let me know what you guys think about this new segment, guys. Do you like uh, the tape? Now, I'll have to get, unfortunately, it muted my mic when I put the videos on. I'm going to try to get another form of this to where I can actually talk while the tape is being played, and I apologize for that. I didn't know it was going to do that. So at first I was trying to talk while it was playing, and I don't think you heard me. So. Don't forget to like the video, guys. As always, subscribe to Mountaineer Paul Talk Football. Hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. I, I really kind of worked hard on this and trying to get this film for you and breaking down this tape for you and contacting people with Carico and contacting people with Martinez, um, making sure these visits are still on board to happen. And so today they are. Let's hope that they do. Let's hope that the Mountaineers land them. I think they'd be beautiful for us, guys. Beautiful. So hope you enjoyed this episode. Like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Join channel membership if you'd like to join. This has been another edition of Mountaineer Paul Talks Football. This episode is over. I'm out.